lovely paint pouring friends. Oh, how I've missed you. I haven't done any paint pouring for such a long time. There's been such a lot going on. Not good stuff, unfortunately. Um, but today I'm going to do some little mini canvases. These are five by seven inches. And I'm going to do some mixing paint with just water. So I'll show you exactly how I've been doing. I've been doing a few bits of painting just lately. I couldn't do any for a long time. Um, well, I'll briefly outline, I don't want to depress you all, but we had a couple of close bereavements in the family. Um, and obviously we've been trying to cope with that. And then some illness. Uh, so it hasn't been such a good year, as it hasn't for most people really. Um, but anyway, like I say, I don't want to bore you with all that. I'm back and I couldn't be happier to be back on video recording these videos for you. So today, I'm using all Amsterdam paints and I'm just going to use good old water to mix it with. So I'll show you quickly how I mix them because there's no reason you can't mix with just water as long as you use good quality paints. If you're using cheap paints, not such a good idea, but these Amsterdam paints are perfect for it. They really do work nicely. Uh, this one is cobalt blue and it's a beautiful vibrant blue. I love this colour. So just put a little bit in my little cup and this is actually, this is uh, a bottled water um, but it doesn't have to be. You can use distilled water if you want or good old tap water. So I start off by just putting a little drop in like that and start the mixing off just so it mixes nice and smoothly. Now when you mix in with water it does create some bubbles um, more so than if you mix in with a pouring medium. The water really does create quite a lot of bubbles. So I'm not using this colour for this painting that I'm going to do right now. I'm going to let this one settle a bit longer. So once that first drop of water is mixed in, we'll keep adding some more, a little bit at a time. Mix that in till it's all smooth. Um, I'm going to do like a, a Dutch pour today. So I do want the paints quite runny. See, that's still way, way, way too thick. So we're just going to keep mixing, mixing, mixing. only want to add a drop of water at a time not too much because if you put too much in at a time well for one you might end up putting too much mixture in and your paint is too much water in your paint and then your paint will be too runny and for the second reason if you don't if you only put a little drop in at a time it helps to mix it smoother quicker otherwise it starts to separate and go all a bit bobbly and lumpy and it just makes it a lot harder work. So still way too thick yet for the type of painting I'm going to do with these. So you, like I say, you do need good quality paints if you're just using the water. Um, you want it highly pigmented and there's no reason you can't use just water they do dry beautifully, still a bit too thick. Just want to get all your paints mixed to the same thickness. Don't want lots of different um, textures, uh, textures, different thicknesses in your paint. You want to get them as equal as you possibly can. I'm just going to go a little bit runnier, just a touch. So that's why I have it in these little little bottles because it's much more easier to just tip a few drops in. Scrape the little popsicle stick off because it'll be thicker paint on there as well. And that is just about right. 
see it just runs off and just goes runs straight off the stick doesn't leave a heap at all so that is just how i want it now don't forget that if you leave your paint because you do need to leave your paints to um settle so all the bubbles come out otherwise you end up with all sorts of problems with your your bubbles you want those out as much as possible but when you've left them they will thicken up so you do need to test them again just to make sure they're thin enough and if they're not just add a little drop of water and you'll be fine to go now they're all amsterdam paints and what i'm going to do is just flood my canvas all mix the same look same sort of thickness i'm just going to flood this canvas I've put my little push pins. See, this is how I've done the, the bottom of my canvases. I've put my little push pins in, well used. Use them over and over again. And I've put masking tape on the back to keep the back clean. So that's ready for my next one. So we just want to take it over the edges. Cover all the edges. See how that runs nice and evenly? Because it's quite runny. You don't want it runny, too runny, so it um, just doesn't cover the canvas and you can see all the canvas through it. That would be no good at all. But this is just nice and runny, so it covers smoothly. So whilst I'm doing that, I do want to just say thank you so much for my lovely lovely paint pouring community all the lovely messages i've had asking where i am and if i'm okay um i did appreciate it and i appreciate every single one of you that took the time to send messages it did it did really really help because i was i was feeling pretty pretty low pretty fed up and it was just nice to have our little lovely little paint pouring community knowing that there was a, those of you sending me messages and thinking about me and obviously most of you didn't know what i was going through at all but things are on the up again now so back to my paint pouring and my lovely little community that i've missed so much so give my hands a quick wipe Give that a quick torch because there's quite a few bubbles in there. And this is um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And as I said, just mix with good old water. So I thought I'd do something like this because I know a lot of people do struggle knowing what to mix with the paints and how to mix it in different thicknesses and all that sort of thing. So I thought go back to real go back to basics and use just paint and water because everybody can get hold of what well we're fortunate aren't we if we got ready ready supply of water so my colors today are uh mortem violet which is that one beautiful 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 color uh, greenish blue, brilliant green. Look at that! How gorgeous is that? And this one, which is my one of my big pots, is the Amsterdam pewter, and that's just my little metallic looking color. Look at that! Beautiful. So there are all my colours. Um, now the order I'm going to do, let me think about it. I'll have this beautiful dark violet colour. Now I'm not putting a lot on. I always say that, you know. <laughs> See, this is what I do. I always say, I'm not putting a lot on. And then I always go, ah, got a bit heavy handed with the paint. And end up putting far more than I intended. So that's that one. Um, then we'll do, hmm, 
I think we'll do this beautiful, beautiful green. Yeah. So I'm going to do a series of these little mini canvases because not everybody's got the space to do a big canvas or lots of big canvases. So I just thought I'd do little canvases and paint and water to make it available to most people. And then we'll go with the, oops, we'll go with the pewter on the top. Oh, that looks lovely. Beautiful. So I have been doing a little bit of painting just this last week or so. Um, but this is the first recording I've done for, oh, quite a few months, really. Quick torch. That looks lovely as it is. <laughs> I think that's quite a work of art on its own. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour... Some of this paint around the outside like that and then i'm going to use because it's such a small canvas i don't want to use my big hair dryer so i'm going to use those of you that seen my videos before know how i'm in love with my little blower the smallest blower in the world apparently so i'll take the nozzle off and then I'm just going to blow that. Oh, I could just see a few bubbles. Let me just get those bubbles out from that white around there. there. So I'm going to blow the paint, this white paint, over the top. Then I'm going to just start blowing it out again. A quick torch. So can you see there's already a few little cells coming up there? It's just look. You see, I, <laughs> I think I'm a bit weird because I even like that. I think you could even leave that as a painting. Just the pure white background and then a little splash of colour. I think it looks rather nice. Anyway, I'm not going to. I'm going to blow it out. <laughs> so my little blower again. I'm just going to start blowing it outwards. Whoa, beautiful vibrant colours. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh. I'll just put that on that way a bit. Yeah. And my little blow it off. Now what I like to do is I like to come it in with my little I've lost it. My little turkey baster. Found it. I lost my turkey baster. Oh a torch first. Let's give it a quick torch. See all those little bubbles coming through. Just gives it some nice detail. That is looking beautiful, you know. Those colours are so vibrant. Because I do think that sometimes when we blow the white paint over, it can sometimes mute the colours a bit. But these colours, oh my gosh, they just look so stunning. So I just use my little turkey baster and I put a little pipe in the end just to make it bit longer so I can reach a bit further. I'm just going to blow these edges out. See, when you blow more into it like this, it does reveal the colours underneath as well, which there's some, that's bringing that purple out. That um, looks quite nice because that green, oh, I just love that green. Just like to soften the edges a wee bit. Well, that looks quite pretty like that, actually. I'll leave that bit like that because I like that. Just 
take that little bit there. Take it up off that corner. Oh, that is looking pretty. What do you think, guys? Give it a quick pause, see if anything else happens. Ah, oh, man, I love the colours. I just love those colours. It looks so pretty. I do like this bit, how that's gone like that. So I'm going to leave that. Um, do I want to do anything else? <laughs> I think this is a bit heavy on this side compared to this side. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take a bit of this white paint and I'm just going to bring it in there, like that, and a little bit in here, like that, and I'm going to get my little stick, and I'm just going to bring, just drag that paint through. A little bit like that. Wipe the stick off and do the same with that one. There. That's better. I like that better. Um, I might just, without putting extra in, I'll just see how it goes. I'll just drag a bit of that white through like that. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I like that better. And I'm going to do that. I might just put a spot of white on there. Not too much. And just drag that through. Like that. Because I like that. Let's that up there. Look. That's all right. There we go. Sorted. So, I think that is done i love it i love it right i'm going to bring you down for a close-up because then you'll see all this beautiful detail in here so here is the close-up Doesn't it look pretty? Look at all those colours coming through. I think it looks beautiful. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out more videos. Leave a comment because it all helps those little YouTubers. That's the bit I really like. <laughs> I think that looks lovely. So beautiful. Such vibrant colours. So I shall be doing a series of these little mini canvases, little five by seven inch canvases with the um, just the acrylic paint and water. See the edges are all nicely covered. You always cover your edges. Oops, you've got my finger over there. It looks nice on the edges. So hope you enjoyed that. And it's lovely to be back with you. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.